Hello everyone, it's me, a guy on the internet, a voice, and uh, my intros keep getting more awkward if that's even physically possible. Soon enough, anyone who watches these videos just immediately topples over and dies from cringe, so please don't do that. I mean, keep watching the videos, don't topple over and die from cringe. Anyway, uh, I'm back to blundering, that's right, I'm back to blundering. Uh, I know it's a sad day for everyone involved. But today I thought I'd break up the series of making a house because I got kind of bored. <laughs> I, I went halfway through recording the episode and I just realized I was not having any fun at all. And I think kind of it kind of came off that way in the video. So I thought I'd break up the monotony a little bit and then come back to creating a house in the next episode. Today, I'm going to make something simple, like a gazebo. Uh, I have a general idea on how to make it, so... There shouldn't be too much stumbling around, but uh, you know, you never know with me. With me, anything is quite literally anything is possible. But yeah, uh, we're going to be making a gazebo, uh, a normal looking one, perhaps with uh, maybe like a chair or a bench or something. I don't know. I'm going to see. And um, yeah, we'll see. We're going to see how it uh, turns out. So anyway, to start with, I forgot to turn on the geometry nodes. I keep, uh, not geometry nodes, screencast keys. I keep uh, forgetting to do that. Um, yeah, there we go. Uh, I The reason I mentioned geometry nodes is because I was trying to create a low poly rock with geometry nodes. Uh, and I, I just don't know how to use that damn thing. So I'm not going to even bother. Anyway, let's delete that as we always do. And because we our gazebo is going to be uh, circular, let's add a circle. So we're going to go with 16 vertices. Uh, question is how much detail I want. This is still going to be low poly, so probably not that much detail. So... We may as well just fill it out, uh, scale it there about. Uh, let's actually go four across the boards just so we're even. Uh, and then we just uh, extrude that. That's going to be uh, the first step. We then insert, you know, standard, standard fair extrude again. Uh, insert uh, again, extrude again. And then we're going to do it just one more time. Uh, extrude it and then insert it uh, intrude there we go so that looks like a decent baseline I suppose uh, next thing would be uh, to take this uh, copy it uh, hmm, maybe not copy it what I want to do is take the edges uh, extrude them perhaps hmm no, let's just copy paste. Uh, hmm. How would I go about? Hmm. You know what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to go out. I'm going to create a new circle. Uh, 16 by 16. There we go. Uh, we're going to scale it. Uh, and then we're just going to press 4 by 4 by 4. Go. We're going to move it up here. We're going to fill it out like so. We're going to extrude it, scale it, uh, insert, then extrude, then... Oh, right, it's because of this, my bad. <laughs> then scale it down, extrude it again, scale it down, extrude it again, scale it down, extrude it again, and scale it down. And now we have like a domed... Um, don't ceiling of sorts what we can do is we can intrude this there we go and then we extrude it uh upwards just enough so it doesn't clip um you can then intrude it uh, again and extrude it like that there we go so um now we're gonna make some pillars some columns uh, so we're gonna go with uh i guess we're gonna go with cylinder it doesn't really matter so we're gonna nook it down to 16 vertices we could probably go even lower than that, but it uh, it's fine. So we move it. Uh... So the question is, how many? I'm gonna I'm gonna go with four. I'm gonna go with four north, west, east, and south. So uh, let's uh, position them. Let's scale down. There we go. So uh... yeah, it's gonna be there about. Give or take. And, uh, okay, no, it's not. Uh, yeah. So for, uh, let's do that. Oops. Let's do that. And uh, 
nestle it in there there we go okay okay so that's gonna work so let's go into edit mode uh, let's uh, move that up they're a bit too thick hmm So let's let's do that let's thin them out just a little bit and then let's uh reposition them there we go uh, there we go and then we can go back into edit mode and uh move it up until it's does it clip through okay no it doesn't great so um what do i want to do i don't want to do anything complicated like carve it into a statue or anything like that i just wanted to keep it fairly simple so um let's hide these for a while let's actually just rename them so base and uh, we're going to call it dome it's going to be column there we go um hmm so the first thing that i want to do is i want to give it a more um at the base so uh let's uh well, let's select all of these actually and we're going to extrude along normals uh like that to give it that a bit of a, a bit of a fatness we can then do the same thing up here uh, it's not going to be very visible but uh, just for my own peace of mind we can do that there we go and then we can actually do this a few more times uh, throughout to sort of give it that uh, i don't know difference in shape i suppose so let's uh that's too many subdivisions actually let's just go one by one so we're going to create one over here we're going to make them thin make them a bit uh, make them stand out a little bit we can also go inwards that actually might also be fun but uh let's go at intervals so there's going to be one out one in and then one out again uh i'm going to have to eye them all because i can't be bothered with precision <laughs> that's that's not my forte so we're gonna uh extrude in there we go and then lastly we are going to uh extrude out uh again the way you get this menu is by pressing alt e so uh, now we have a bit of a different shape but not really it still looks very plain uh, a lot of it can be done through texturing so what you can do is uh, grab it all inset a face right uh, uh, extrude along the normals and then thin it out to give it a bit of a more uh, different look we're going to do the same thing here so inset and do that about. so now it looks a little bit interesting it still looks kind of boring you know uh what you can do is sort of uh even this out a little bit so you take this you extrude along the normals like that and then i don't know if this is going to work but yeah it's it is so what you could do well first thing you gotta do is delete uh, dissolve uh, faces no that doesn't work what if i delete faces only faces let's still leave edges uh, what if i just delete uh, faces yeah okay so that works because now we can just take this fill it fill it fill it fill it fill it again and then so on and so on. i'm sure there's a faster way to do this oh I'm sure there's a faster way to do this, but I am not good at this program as evidenced by everything that I do. So I take the slow but sort of works approach. And oops. And we are done. Oops. That's, that's an add-on that I barely use, but it's there for when I need it. Okay. Hmm, that's actually super we could have just beveled this by the way that's that's the faster way to do it just bevel it uh like this for instance so you select it you press ctrl b oops i cancel that exactly and you just uh bevel it there you go 
<laughs> if that, that's your goal, uh, we can do some uh, beveling, perhaps. Uh, oh yeah, that actually looks kind of fine. But we're going to have to select uh, this as well. Yeah, and then bevel it. Oops, that's too much. Just a little bit. There we go. Okay, so now, <clears throat> sorry about that. Now I'm thinking, what should I add here? Should there be some sort of a motif here? Um, hmm. I don't know. I honestly don't. Let's uh, just uh, quickly delete uh, this face, and then let's delete uh, this face, and uh, let's delete these faces. Uh, we can also probably delete these faces. I don't think anything is going to happen. Uh, and these faces as well, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, everything else is sort of necessary. Uh, those are not. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, hmm. Let me just take a sip of a drink. I'm thinking of adding like um, four sided symmetry here, uh, but anything would be way too complicated and would add just way too many foot faces to the model, like a lion's head. Uh, he says as though he knows how to even approach making that. <laughs> uh, actually, there is an easy way to do that. So you go here, you keep it on the model, and you type in lion head. And uh, there are apparently 700 results, right? Uh, so there are lion heads. I just, I just don't know how to... Oh, there they are. A lot of them are paid, but there are a couple of free ones. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> you can always do this. Uh, I don't know how that's that's a turbine head storage. Okay. So yeah, something something like that, right? I don't know how to make this, but it's there as an option if you wanna add it. Um, but in the spirit of keeping it simple, I'm honestly just gonna leave it like this. It has a bit of detail. You can add some fancy stuff with the texture if you'd like. Uh, that's good enough for me. That's like the model of the channel, good enough. I'm sort of like evolution. Um, we obviously have to fix this now. So uh, let's do this. Let's do let's do that, and uh, let's do that. Okay. Yep. There we go. So keep the dome up, and then what? Uh, we want to, we could er uh, array this actually. Let's see how good I am with arraying. So, um, what is this modifier? Apparently, I've accidentally added smooth. Hmm. Shade flat. Yeah, I, I don't know what, <laughs> what I pressed, but apparently I was shading in smoothly. That's not what I wanted. Uh, anyway, um, array. So, uh, factor X, uh, what was it? Four, eight, no. Uh, let's move it over here. And uh, maybe 730. There we go, just about. Um, and then we can apply this, nice, and then we can just duplicate this, and uh, we can then rotate it by X, nope, rotate it by Y, nope, rotate it by Z, yep. Um, so move, uh, so move on the X, and then move on the Y, Uh, move on the Y over here a little bit. And there we go. We have our columns, of which uh, I'm just going to join to one layer. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. And we have a general shape of a gazebo. Isn't this absolutely wonderful? So what we can now do is... Uh, we can make a fence uh, around the gazebo and make like one of these, like an entryway. Um, oh my God, it's going to be so boring. 
but I'm, uh, let's actually see if I can figure out a quick way to do it. So um, we're going to keep a base visible. We're going to add a circle. There we go. 16. We're going to scale it up. Just make it four by four by four. There we go. Uh, we're going to move it. Oh, no. Oh, no. So it's Y four. Uh, no, okay, I have to start over. <laughs> Something got lost in translation. So scale it. So four by four by four by by four. There we go. Okay, so now that's that's done. Uh, so move it up. Uh, I do want to scale it down actually to like there about i suppose right yeah there about it's fine um then we're going to uh edit this is in the edit mode okay so uh, what well, we can do extrude inwardly but i have to be super careful yeah uh hmm. yeah okay so uh extrude inwardly There about there we go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, how do I go about uh, creating those legs? Do I just cube them? I think cubing them might be the easiest thing. Uh, or I could just make like a general wall of things. So if we decide that these two would be uh, like our entryway, so we delete faces, there we go. And then we can just, uh, if I can just uh, grab these faces, just make a full sized fence, I suppose. That might work. So we'll extrude this down a little bit, right? And then we insert. And then we extrude uh, way down. Okay, you know what? I actually am digging that. Uh, as long as the columns don't clip, which they do not. Oh. <laughs> I. This is why you keep things on, I suppose. Um, I mean... We can just do this, so it's not like a disaster or anything like that. So just push them to there about. Uh, but now, yeah, the issue is that now they're clipping, right? So we gotta <laughs> we gotta start over. Um, uh, at least now I know uh, how to do it. So scale. We go four by four and by four. There we go. Uh, move that, move that up, and then uh, scale that there about. Then go into edit mode. Um, extrude inwardly. There we go. Lovely stuff. Uh, so now we can just uh, grab these two, delete them, and uh, then we can extrude inwardly. There we go. Insert a face, make it like super thin, and extrude, and there we go. Now what we can do is we can take these two and we can bevel them out a little. We can actually just take all four of these and uh, bevel them out a little bit. There we go. Um, we could have done the same thing for... Uh, oops. All the outward ones. So we can just uh, give them a bit of a bevel. Okay, something is funky because 
Oh, okay. Let's not do bees. So without these, they, they make it funky a little bit. There we go. Okay. And uh, what we can actually do now, so take all these faces, right? There's probably, again, there's likely an easier and faster way for all of these things. Um, so we're going to take all of these faces, right? Uh, like, uh, like that. There we go. Then we can insert like that. And we can just, oops, uh, control E bridge edge loops which worked for the most part except here something funky happened oh uh control uh bridge edge loop wait what i don't get it uh, that's also not what i actually wanted so uh, what i actually wanted uh, was inset, but I want to keep. Uh, is there a way to keep them like actually insert individual faces? Hmm, maybe Alt I. Nope, that's not a shortcut. Um, hmm, hmm, I don't know. <laughs> Do I literally have to go? No, 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 it's fine. <clears throat> Sorry about that. So let's select that. Let's insert it and let's uh, bridge edge loops. There we go. Okay. Uh, so next I can add like a couple of uh, individual. So maybe we can just add uh, in. Oops, no, I call that insert. So let's just Split them like uh, there about. There we go, and then extrude. They are clipping though. Uh, maybe we can scale down. Yes, there we go. Okay, so it's standing through the pure force of magic, I suppose. So. Um, I'm pretty sure these columns are supposed to be on the outside <laughs> of the fence, but we're doing the gazebo my way, okay? The way is really bad, but we're doing it in my way. So now what we want to do is maybe create a table and like a few benches. Uh, that should be somewhat easy to do. Um, so let's... Uh, so this is going to be fence, right? So let's uh, hide the fence away because it's now in the way. Uh, let's make, uh, oops, I'm telling that no. Let's add a circle. Let's make a quick table. Also move it up here. Maybe scale it just a tiny little bit. Uh, that's just about right, I suppose. Um, no, maybe maybe a bit more there we go okay lovely stuff let's go into <clears throat> edit mode let's fill the bad boy up uh, let's extrude uh, let's inset and let's uh, extrude that's way too thick I'll inset again there we go. Uh, extrude like that. Um, oops, that's too big. Oh my god. So, and extrude again, but uh, this one will be scaled out. There we go. Then what you can do is you can uh, slightly bevel the edges. Hmm, do we do both? I don't think there's actually enough room for beveling both. I mean, yeah, there is. There we go. Um, that's just adding more faces than it needs to be, but it's fine. Uh, so we have uh, a table. 
Um, I don't know if that's. It's been a while since I've been in a gazebo. I'm pretty sure they, uh, if they have tables, they're much smaller. But now let's uh, make a bench. So we're gonna start with a circle again. Actually, we can start with a plane. Uh, let's start with a plane this time around, just to, just to you know. Uh, <clears throat> change things up so uh first of all let's uh, bring it up a little bit so what i want to do is uh i want to go in here right uh go into edit mode and uh start slowly uh shaping the bench up there we go so we go here, there we go. So we extrude, we extrude again. Hmm. Maybe move it back a little bit like that. Uh, move it up. Then uh, extrude, extrude, extrude. Okay, that does not work at all. <laughs> that is not working. I can I can already tell you that this does not work because it's too far from the table. Actually, it's 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 not even that far. Hmm. Starting with a circle still will be much easier. So let's actually not put the cube. God damn it! Do that. Start with circle. Okay, uh, let's uh, add a table. Let's move it up. Let's move it over here. And let's uh, hopefully reshape it. Hmm. I'm making some unique looking furniture, I'm telling you that much. Like trying to create it arched is just a pain in the something. Pain in the ass. I can say ass, I'm a grown ass man. And uh oops. So we have a very unique looking bench. Uh, is it a bench? I would not be able to tell you in a million years. Uh, I will make it into a bench though. So uh, we're gonna actually gonna move. It. So we're gonna move it down uh, and down. Okay. So we're gonna then extrude it. So that's gonna be a seat. We're gonna insert. There we go, and we are going to extrude and scale down. So what I'm going to do is insert, insert, there we go. And then uh, what we are going to do is select these and extrude them out. There we go. And then we are going to be doing some leveling. There we go. And we're going to do the same thing for here. It creates some funk over here though. So let me uh, not include this one or this one. It still creates some funk, but it's uh, it's fine. So, is this a bench that you would find quite literally anywhere in the world? Uh, absolutely not. <laughs> absolutely not. Uh, will I be using it? Heck yeah, dude. Why not? I made it, so let's uh, bring it uh, in a little bit. There we go. And uh, it's still firmly there. Okay. So we're gonna do bench. Uh, this is a table. <laughs> I 
Uh, let's actually do something funky with the table as well. We may as well, because uh, nobody's ever visiting this gazebo, maybe except teenagers to make count. So let's uh, insert that and then in extrude. There we go. Why not? Why not have a weird indentation in the table that makes you hit your head, not your head, your hand, a thousand times when you're reaching for a cup of coffee? Why not? Or bow down to the architect of death. So we're going to duplicate that. We're going to move it over here. Rotate it. Rotate it just right. There we go. And then bring it in. And then we're going to do this. Move it over here. Rotate. Move it over there. Rotate by Z. There we go. There about seems right. Okay. Um. So we, <laughs> it started off so well, you know, I, I had this like really good general shape and I even added a cool fence and then it just, it just got nuked in the details, man. Uh, I don't know, without the benches, uh, it doesn't look awful, right? With the benches, it looks kind of sus, but you know what? It's fine. It's fine. Um... I'm going to try and shade it, but first I actually want to add that uh, thingamabob that a lot of domes have at the top. So let's insert that and let's uh, extrude it a little bit, scale it down and extrude it and scale it down to zero. There we go. That's not really what they have actually. So uh, let's do that. Okay, that seems marginally better, I suppose. So, um, how will I go about texturing this? Oh my god. I don't know. Let's go. Let's be quick about it, actually. So let's go into shading here. Um, I have a bunch of differently colored. Uh... Hmm. Which one seems most appropriate? I suppose this one wouldn't be bad because it has a lot of like browns uh, and it has a lot of stone in there. Uh, this one doesn't have a lot of like gray scale colors. So let's go with the, oops, uh, let's create a new texture and let's add a house texture. And uh, we're gonna make it the closest and uh, we're gonna do this. Okay, so we start with the dome. We go back to UV editing. Uh, we switch up the view to texture. So we're gonna select everything. We're gonna unwrap it. why what is what is the issue oh i mean it doesn't really matter because it's all going to be the same color anyway uh yeah with maybe maybe the exception of this where uh we can like make it a bit brighter yeah there we go maybe even a bit more bright as i was sort of a highlight yeah there we go that's completely fine. So we go back to shading. We select columns. We select material 01. There we go. We go back to UV editing. We select everything. We unwrap it. And uh, we figure maybe like uh, hmm, maybe this you. Hmm. Yeah, sure. But. Uh, uh, I should have, oh my god, I should have first textured one and then copied, oh boy. I didn't think I was going to be adding any details. Um, I got to add some though, I got to add some. So, um, I got to add some. Hopefully, it shouldn't take too long. Oh, my God. Um, let's just do this one. You know when you forget something and it turns out to be the worst mistake you've ever made? 
I mean, it's not the worst. It's uh, it's okay. It's okay. It's just a little bit of a waste of time. Um, okay, maybe add some fun stuff over here. There we go. And then this. This. Oh boy. Okay, so now it has some identity. Uh, I could have gone a bit further in and like created a darker sh I, I kind of have to now. Just to give it a bit of a contrast. Uh, so is there a shade darker? Not really. So we can go like super black. Yeah, okay, that creates a bit of a contrast. Not nearly enough. Like, I could go into more detail, but it's fine. It's fine. Let's go back to shading. Let's take base. Actually, let's take fence um, and do that. Go back to UV editing, select everything, unwrap it. Uh, again, there's apparently an issue. Okay, it does not matter because uh, these are not like super realistic textures anyway. So I'm going to make it wooden, actually, because why not? wood is magic as we all know and then uh hmm i don't know why it selected this inner area but you know what that actually hmm. why isn't it selecting the faces what's the what's the hold up oh i would have to select all of these oh my god okay so let's just select them all, I guess. Uh, I'm going to give this a nice, brighter highlight. Okay. Okay. And okay. So let's just make them uh, super bright. There we go. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Let's select the, 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 what, what's it called? Still can't unwrap it. I'm going to have to figure out what the hell is that. It's like a missing edge or something. I don't know. So we're just going to give it like a nice stately color. Uh, we can go in and like give this like a bit of a darker color just to sort of create this. Uh, I shouldn't probably name, uh, give it the same color as the, uh, Hmm. Apparently it's a mirror. Maybe it's made of glass. I don't know. <laughs> Let's go. This is what happens when you don't pre-prepare textures and just reach into your uh, database of like six that you made. So uh, let's select the same material. Let's go back to UV editing and uh, let's unwrap it. it. Okay, whatever. So let's scale it down and um, let's give it this nice gray color and then we can give it a darker color inside. Uh, if I really wanted to, uh, I could uh, do this, right? Not that, okay, not, not that, maybe... Uh... <laughs> Maybe I have to go individually, okay. Uh, and make them darker. Oops. There we go. Uh, where is the bottleneck? Why isn't it selecting the face? Hmm. Let's go back uh, over here. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I don't know why it's not uh, selecting the faces. Oh, it's selecting this one. Actually, let's delete this face because we don't need it. Huh. Yeah, there we go. Maybe it's going to do it now. Still no. Okay, why? What's the, what's the hold up? I don't know. Let's let's just select them individually. It's fine. 
So we do that, we do that, we do that. I forgot I had to I have to color the benches individually as well. Oh my god. Um oh well. Um there's a way I remember following a tutorial about voxel destruction in Blender. There was a way to go from one uh uh one prefab and then link materials with others but it's convoluted and i can't remember how i did it so it's 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 a mood point anyway so uh all that's left is the uh, benches so let's go into benches let's give it a material nice and principled um go back to uv editing uh it does I'm, if someone knows why it gives me that error, unwrap fail because of islands or whatever, please let me know because I have absolutely no idea. So what color do I want? Do I want to be cute and give it like a flesh color? That doesn't look awful. It doesn't fit at all, but let's just give it like a bright color. And then select the seat and then just give it uh, like a slightly darker shade. Hmm, still not dark enough. Or maybe just different color altogether. Yeah. Yeah, that's also made of glass, I suppose. <laughs> so let's go back over here. Um, let's select uh, material, UV editing, unwrap, move it uh, over here. Select that, move it to, uh, I think it was this one, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, sure. Let's go back to shading. This I, I should spend way more time with texturing, man. Like texturing is where you really bring out the beauty of your model. But I am so lazy and I'm already like 40 minutes into this video. It just takes me too long to model something that I don't have time to texture it properly. So I end up with these ugly looking things that I can't even unwrap properly because I don't know. I don't even know why. <laughs> That's how bad I am. Um, no, it's wait, wait. It was, uh, it was, uh, it was this one, right? Yeah, okay. But you know what? Honestly, uh, like if I give a bit more thought, like for instance, if I went in here, right, and say, um, I add a, like a bit of a gradual texture so that it's not also super colored. So like make it a bit brighter, right? And then select, uh, uh, select the oops. Select these right and uh, do the same thing and uh, then select these and uh, I don't know make it like bright blue just to give it like a bit of depth you know it doesn't look absolutely awful if I went in there and added a bit more texture a bit more grit maybe an actual texture instead of just flat colors you know just because it's low poly doesn't mean it doesn't necessitate an actual texture. Like for instance, I'm going to give you an idea of what I mean. Let's say I want to uh, make a new texture for this. So I'm going to go with uh, 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 I don't know, stone. Let's find some stone uh, materials, right? So we have a bunch of these. We have uh, pattern stones. Uh, we have just like grainy ones. So let's say I want to do this, right? So when it downloads, see, just because it's low poly doesn't mean it necessarily has to look super ugly. Uh, so I can do the same thing for uh, every other. So let's do wooden. Uh, and, uh, let's just select this one. So we wait until it downloads. Uh, you would you will have to sort of do some magic with it. I'm not gonna. Uh, this is just sort of to uh, demonstrate, or well, let's just go with metal. This is just sort of to demonstrate uh, how you could actually go about doing these things, right? Uh, when it comes to like, okay, that does not look good at all. Um, I don't know, <laughs> maybe it is. Yeah, you know what, whatever, it's fine. It looks kind of worse than it did with uh, with my thing, honestly. So let's just uh, go back over here, I suppose. Um, yeah, it, it just broke. It broke for some reason, but it's fine. It's fine, honestly. Uh, the reason why I mentioned that, uh, the reason why I did this and kind of destroyed my model in the process 
is because to showcase that uh, if you go and actually do the texturing, it can go from looking okay to looking fairly good. So yeah, texturing is almost, if not just as important as modeling, ultimately. In some cases, even more important. And then you have shaders where you want to create some reflective surfaces and mirrors and, you know, see through glass and stuff like that. But yeah, uh, this is uh, a gazebo that I made that I funked over now because uh, it's missing textures. <laughs> uh, let's go back to uh, metal and fix that. Uh, so yeah, that's... Uh, you can we can view it in a different uh, different lighting. There we go. There we go. With see, you know, it kind of reflects. It uh, it doesn't move, but it kind of reflects color, and it gives that nice gazebo -y, um look. So yeah, that has been the gazebo making in Blender low poly with some texturing and then a tutorial on how to screw it up towards the end. Um, all of these materials are free, by the way, uh, that you can download. I don't think you can use them commercially necessarily, but there are a lot of available PBR materials that you can use commercially. So if you don't feel like making a texture by yourself or going to something like Substance Painter, uh, you can download them. They have a lot of like the generic stuff like rock, steel, wood uh, that you would use in like most of the most of the things that you would make when it comes to like prop department and such. But if you really need something unique, then, you know, just go in, go in there and paint it yourself. Uh, Photoshop, GIMP, Krita. Uh, I, I assume there's a bunch of other, uh, not a bunch, but decent, decent amount of other uh, programs that you can use for texturing. So thank you guys for joining me on the other, other episode of me floundering around in Blender. I hope you had fun, learned something, and I'm going to see you on the next episode where we finally go back to uh, making the house again. Cheers.